to get. Fuck off. Yeah, you got a massive headache. I know. It's a shame there's nothing in it. Because that helmet doesn't didn't fit you, eh? Nah. Oh, what? it fits me. It's yeah. just not safe. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we we're recording, by the way. Sick. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Welcome back I'm to... I'm Jack Man. You're Jack Man? Yes, I am. Or are you Jack Man? I'm Jack Man. I'll be whatever Jack Man you want me to be. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Get That Skate, and you're listening <laughs> or watching to Jack Main <laughs> and these two guys. Now, nah, I'm Jack Main. I'm also Get That Skate, and I have, Jack Main, yeah. I have these two fellas back on the podcast to talk some smack. How are we, boys? Yeah, pretty good, yourself. Not bad, Cruising. not bad, good size. Dude, I've... I've been collecting Sector 9 downhill boards and I just, if you're listening or watching and you have an Annika, <laughs> na- <laughs> name your price. Or a Daisy. Or a Daisy. Or a Daisy. Uh, that's all I have to go and then we're sweet. We're Eats. We're Eats. Wow. I don't know what it is. It I do know what it is, but like down, downhill division boards. Iconic. It's the sexy ladies, man. It's it's when they Close came out men. when they You're when those fine women. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you use one of those buttons. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Anyway, when those boards came out, I loved them, and I could never afford them, and now I can. So that's what I've been doing. What have you been doing? Just been working, mate. School. I feel like I'm in a pub and I'm seeing someone who I haven't seen since high school and I'm asking what they've been up to lately. Working, mate. No. <laughs> hey, bro, what have you been doing? Just work, mate. Yeah, work's work. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been working. Mm. Scamo. You're a dull budget, mate. Yeah. Getting that COVID guap. Just doing, mate, just doing the rehab, guap. mate. Mm. Yeah, you know. Still day going day with up. the rehab. Still going with the rehab. It's been, what, weeks since we've been last bro. week? Yeah. yeah, three weeks. You got to do it. Yep, still on the rehab. So, thanks again for coming back on. I'm trying to get the boys that live five minutes away from me to come on, but it's... Here we are, all the way from Cronulla. Yeah, Cronulla yeah, and... Cronulla. The Northern Beaches. And Northern beaches. beaches. Thanks, boys. Wish you had a license. Pleasure, mate. <laughs> so, um, you love driving, shut up. <laughs> we still can't travel anywhere. There's exactly, been don't need a license. <laughs> we can't go to events. We can't do this and that. So we're back on the podcast talking about something. For someone, there's, I hope there's at least one person listening. Easily, mate. But. I'm listening. I am definitely I'll listen, listening. I've got to listen to it like 40 times before I upload it. I get sick of hearing it. But here we are again. And. <laughs> <laughs> today. Today. We are talking about. What are we talking about? It's, I, I don't know. Ta- I was going to ask you the same. I want to talk too. about. And like I've said before, you could ask anyone who skates down hills this question and they could give you an answer. (laughs) If you could go, let's put a time limit on it. You have two weeks holiday. You can go wherever you want. You you could have been there before or you you might have never been before. Where would you go? You want to go first? And I might squeeze in. Actually, I don't know. I think you should go first. Me? Yeah, Yeah, you. You go first. Where would I go? Where would you go? Should I? Should we do that and take four people with you, or what? What should we do? I, mean, I reckon. I don't think you should put a limit on fun. Just talk about. Yeah. I reckon just a place you want to go and well, the boys you'd want to take. I've been no limit, but no limit. Yeah. Throw like, some names. Throw some names. I've Drop been names to many a place. Have you? You have. I've been at a couple of places. Not a lot. Not as much as other people. But I've been back to. Yes. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, we're waiting. I've been back. It's I've like been primary school in here, isn't it? Yeah. I've been. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Um, I've been. I've been to Hawaii like five times, so yeah. that's obviously my place to be. Mm-hmm. And as you might know, see, I'll just go from the top. I went to an America. I went to America for a trip in 2015, and I was in New York City with my mum. And Nicole, shout out to mum and Nicole. I love you both. And Nicole was about to fly to Las Vegas. My mum was about to fly home and I had like three weeks in LA. And I thought, 
um, I don't know if I want to be in LA for three weeks. And Jack Bain, Aussie homie, and ja- and Zach Mills Goodwin, they went to Hawaii like the year before, I think. Mm-hmm. And it just looked unreal. And uh, so I joined, it was like the night before my flight. I joined this Facebook group called Maui Longboarding, the island of Maui. And um, I posted like, hey, I haven't booked accommodation or anything, but I just want someone to skate with. And like I had, I had cash to like find a place to stay and whatnot and just do it that way. And then I woke up the next morning and like I booked flights at like 11 o'clock at night for the next morning. And I woke up the next morning, I checked my Facebook and there was like all these dudes saying, yeah, bro, you can stay with me, this, that and the other. And I was like, dude. Damn. Downhill skating, man. Like, go anywhere and you'll, so and you'll get Yeah, treated. man, that is the beautiful yeah. thing. Got a it's, couch or yeah. floor or, you know, even spare rooms. And like, that's all I wanted, man, was floor. Bro, I would have slept out the back. I think I did on that trip <clears> just <throat> of, by choice. Like, I had a couch and I was like, no, I'm sleeping on the hammock out the back. But, yeah, and then I went there and I met some people who now I've, you know, hold really close to me because they're just legends. They're like family out there. So shout out to all the boys on Maui. Jonathan was the first homie to put me up, Jonathan Valenzuela. He oh, yeah, went viral it. for skating down Crater, the one, you know, yeah, one of the yeah, biggest roads on Maui on a surfboard. Like he put trucks <laughs> on a Damn. surfboard. Dude, mental. Anyway, Bruh. Dakota Camp. We all know brother. Dakota. My brother, the man with the plan is the most stylish skater ever. So back to the question, I'm going on, but I – I've been back to Hawaii a few times, but there's places I haven't been. I haven't been to the Big Island, mm-hmm. Big Island Brian, those boys out there. Honestly, I'd have to say I'd I'd go there with like a big crew. Like I've been a couple times with the boys, and it's like ripper of a time. Yeah. Took my younger brother there. He yeah, doesn't skate. That. Yeah, Sick. dude. I did. I took my board, but that trip was all just like hikes, bro. Going through the jungle, man, just like jumping off rocks and stuff and eat, eating good food. Bro, it was the <laughs> sickest time when I skated. I rode my skateboard like twice. Damn. That's sick. Sick. And, and that's, and anyone who hasn't. It's part of the adventure, man. Bro, that's, if you're going on a trip and say you get the luxury of two weeks off and you can go wherever you want, you got to do, you got to get amongst the, yeah. the other things that are there. You know what I mean? You, know, you can like, skate every day. You should be skating, but. But take it in, soak it in. There's nothing better than going to a new place and, and you know, just taking it all in. So, so, you, so you're going back to Hawaii? I'd go to Hawaii. I'd hit the spots I go to, but I'd go to the places I haven't. Yeah. And I would, like I said, I've been with a little crew before, but I'd want to go, you know, you two boys. Been talking about this with Max for ages. Mm. I'd take, you know, whoever would be down to go. And what I was there one year and um, there was some – Main, they like they call the America mainland, yeah, because Hawaii is so far away. And the mainland boys they hired a U haul truck, right? Mm. It's like $20 a day. No way, you pay for the miles, but it's like not that much. Mm. And they and inside the U haul was um, it's like a big, yeah, huge a big van, U-haul. and they set up hammocks, yeah, so they would have like bro, like six boys sleeping on the floor of the van, doors open out the back, and then like couple dudes in the hammocks and i'm and i think like dude, imagine having all because we're aussies yeah imagine having all the aussie crew over there <laughs> just living out of the u-hauls just going oh. hill to hill beach to beach like that'd be scary that'd be that's so, my we'd dream piss so many people off dude. yeah we'd, be so, we'd, we'd yeah. be so so not welcome back after that yeah. no we would not nah, they love us I love this. I will always <laughs> find myself like teaching them Aussie lingo and like words. And that. <laughs> like, dude, we do not know what you're saying, dude. I'm like, man. But I, I'd go, I'd go back to Hawaii. There's obviously, I'd, I'd go anywhere if there's a good crew and I and I get to ride my skateboard down. Like, I look at this skateboard as a passport, man. It could take you anywhere. Absolutely. Yep. And. I want to go to New Zealand. Really want to go yeah, to New, New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand's sick, man. But New I've, I've already bad. said my place. So, yep. moving on. All right. One place I've been talking about it all before this mm. and for like months on end. Yep. Braps. 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 Uh, just, just two weeks at Braps with the boys. You'd probably need a couple of sets of wheels for that. Pucks. Just pucks. They never tell you about the pucks. Pucks. They so never t- you, just yeah. mags and utility pucks. So, you've not been no there. Utility pucks. Don't talk shit about utility pucks. I've not been there. I've You've not, been, not there. been there, have you? Yeah, definitely. Been there. Been there. So for someone who wants to go and I, I haven't been, tell us. 
Yeah, man, it's off chops. Mm. It's absolutely off chops. Where like, is it? Like, I can't tell you. Yeah, right. Yeah, honestly, um, we may as well just pack this up then. Yeah, I, I can't tell you where it is, mm. but um, it's great. Yep, and you definitely need to hit up the locals. Yes. Yeah, because they do it. Rule the right number. Way. Rule yeah. number one, actually. Anybody listening, if you want to go anywhere. Dude, hit the locals up. Yeah, look, look for your locals, yep. you know, on Facebook, Facebook, local Facebook pages, you know, yep. whatever, whatever place you want to go longboarding. Look for anybody wearing Get it. That and then you know that they're, they're tops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. If, you, if you're trying to go to Brass, you know, hit up the right people. Yep. You know, mm-hmm. We can put you in contact with and they always organize sessions. They do it safely. They use radios. Um, cause it's getting, it's getting a little bit hotter than it has been in the past. Mm. So we were speaking about it before, then you definitely want to have closed roads. And if you go to a brass session, it's even more fun cause you're not there alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're with the only thing be better than brass alone is brass, is brass with the boys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You camping, you know, out in the wilderness, yeah. mountain lions. It's crazy. Taking what red hot laps. What made, Absolutely. what made you want to like, what put brass on the map for oh, you? Watching kebabs. Kayvon, yeah, Kayvon's videos, yeah, just of the boys hooning. Dude, down he perhaps. if he can make a video, he can he make a talented, yeah. damn, damn good video. Yeah. But yeah, his yeah. his videos and just like the compilations of just different yeah. clips of the boys just hucking it down Braffs and all like yep. the B roll. Did you get stuff. clips of Braffs? Only like GoPro clips. Not oh. no, no, good no 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 follow run. I'm not really like. Huge into the follow runs unless I'm I like I know the, the driver. Yeah. yeah, like very well. Like, like I'll do a follow with you. I'm Jack Man. <laughs> um, yeah, like I'll do follows with, but yeah, with other people that I don't really know, I'm not really into it. But but dude, GoPro is GoPro is just as good. Just as good. Footage, not yeah, but you got you got to point it at the person. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of our issue. Yeah. That it was just like pointed at the ground. Yeah. Um. But yeah, <laughs> Burton, any footage of brass will never do it justice. Yeah. Dude, some clips came out like the <laughs> other week of the. It was like one of my mate, um, one of my mates from America, Chris, posted on his story, and it's like I forgot who was skating there. I'm probably gonna get roasted for it, but they like there's a big crack or like yeah, yeah sucked the, down the in the road, and he's like he's got an air off of it. Yeah, yeah Morgan, then, Morgan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Morgan, dude. I saw a video of Morgs doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Morgs. the road's actually deteriorating. Yeah, right. Like yeah. It's falling off the slide. There's massive cracks in it. So before the second intermission, yeah, there's this like this enormous like fuckery in the road. Yeah. And like there's cracks and you have to find a way around it. It doesn't look like you can go there, but yeah. you can totally go there. Man. And in the top straight, I think it's called full throttle. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> straight. I wonder how, f- I wonder if you go quick there. If it's yeah. Called I that. Don't know. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You do go quick there actually. And um, it's got massive cracks in the road yeah. and there's like grass growing up. Yeah. Oh. It and you like book it over the grass. Like, yeah. It's crazy, man. Who, who, if you could go to Braffs, I'm sure you will. Oh, I don't know, actually, because if it's deteriorating, you might not have a lot of time yeah, left. Yeah, also with COVID. So. COVID. Word on the street, there's a couple more years in, in the Braffs. All right. Well, so when we can go. Whoops. We're going Braffs. Pack your. Pack your bags. Bag. Bag. And let's go. Bag. Bag. Yep. Yes. Bag full of get that Drip. shirts. Yes. Is what I meant. Yep. Yes. Um, And pack a camera and just do it because it Braffs. needs to be done. Yes. Who would you take? Well, like, obviously would hit up the locals and yeah. there's, like, American boys that I'd want to hit up with it. But if I was going to pick, like, just straight from the people I know, mm. like, personally, I see it, like, as often as I can. Yeah. Aussies. Harry Clark. Yeah. Jack Main. Mm. Um, I think all the Sunny Coast boys. The main crew, like that like would be who? Austin, Brass, Miles, DT, Jaden, Nick Georges. Yeah. And then... I feel like just if I can feel like if all the crew, like the Sydney crew, even the Queensland crew, as you well, want to take Australia to Brass. I just want to take Australia <laughs> crew to Brass. <laughs> well, I take every. We always go well at Brass, the Aussies. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. If yeah. I was gonna pick like top top four, like if it's like high car, yeah. And f- me and four other boys. Be you. Yeah. Zach. You don't have to say me. It's okay. No, I'm not going to. Dan Waterhouse. You shouldn't be able to say the people at the table. Because it's okay, like you okay. feel like you have to. Okay. So not me. Okay, Go. Not Jack, right. <laughs> Zach. Zach. Dan, Dan Waterhouse. Yeah. My Scott's boy. Um, Jev. Yeah. Max. Yeah, right. Yeah, nice. Good list. I feel like those be just right. get pretty scared, boys. And last but not least, someone who is well-traveled. You've been to... You've been everywhere. Countries, right? I, yeah. I got around, man. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't... Making moves. You know somewhere where I haven't been? Where? where? 
Canada. What? Ooh. So weird, right? No yeah. way. I've never been to Canada. It seems like a really obvious place that you, most people would have been to. Yeah. And I've never actually been to Canada. But like it's so thinking strange. that like it, it's it got some epic events. It's epic striker. events. Striker. Epic history. Yeah, history there Just, is insane. Yeah, the pedigree of Stanford yeah. Skateboarding from Canada is amazing. And there's still legends coming out of it. Absolutely. Like, like, yeah. But since like when you've been, because you've been on the, you've been going to World Cup races for many a year now. That's many right, years. Yeah. But. I feel like Whistler dropped off the circuit like when you were getting heavy into it. No, it, I was I was in it when Whistler was going, yeah. and I just never just never went, never, never really tickled my fancy. Really. So so oh, that's yeah. that's the sport you 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 want to go? No, nah. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Bruh. Um, it's just somewhere where I, I'd like to go, but there's other places that I'd like well, to go more. Number one place you want to go? Where do you want to be? You could have been there before. You might not have. Number one place. You got. You got two weeks. I mean, if you're going you, if on you, a trip. If you know me, you know what I'm going to say. And I'm going back to Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. You've told me about this before. So for anybody, like, anybody who's listening or watching, if yeah, where, where, where's the camera? There. There's the camera. Taiwan. Taiwan is the spot, man. Yeah. I went once with the crew. From SPD to W Longboard Shop in Hong Kong. Shout out to them. Shout out to the Dude, boys. Legends. Absolute legends. Yeah. Um, so we did I think it was two weeks or maybe just a week in yeah. Taiwan. Yeah. Um one of the best skate trips I've ever had in my life. Yeah, right. Damn. And it's just so overlooked, man. Yeah. It's it's just this island in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Just like Hawaii. Yeah. I, I'd imagine that it'd be very, very, very similar. Yeah, I'd say except so. Except everyone speaks Chinese. Yeah, right. Um So that and that can that can be <laughs> an issue, yes. yeah, an issue. But <laughs> but also a great thing, to, yeah. Uh, you know, absolutely. Like you'd probably be coming back from there knowing a couple. Uh, you yeah, know, you learn so much. You learn so much, um, and they just have a whole different way of doing things. So if you've been there before, tell us about like just roll off. What's it like? Um, not very densely populated, man. Yeah. So there's a, there's a couple of big cities. So we started in Taipei. Yeah. And that's up the quite north of the island. So it's yeah. kind of like a skinny island. Um, up north, Taipei, and there's just mountains the whole length of the island. When we were chatting about it a couple months ago, I jumped on Google Maps, man. And yeah, I, did you see the squiggles, man? I was, bro, I was up till like four o'clock. Mind boggling. And I started saving places mm. I want to go. Don't so, bother. Yeah, but Don't, you, you, dude, we'll go. Man. We'll hit it up. And like that's that's the I think it's the most overlooked, most underrated downhill skateboarding destination. Yeah, right. Because it doesn't matter where you go on the island. Yeah. Like, you'll find a road that's, like, sick. Yeah. Right. And there's known spots more towards the north because I think that's where most of the crew were. Yeah. But when we were there, it decided to piss rain in the north for yeah. the whole time. So, like, bugger this. Yeah. We're just going to head south. So, we head down south to this place called Taichung. Yep. No plan, no nothing. Just like we're gonna roll up here, yeah, and we'll see what we can find, yeah. And we found some crazy stuff, dude. And we didn't yeah. even have time, yeah. So we had to drive back to Taipei to skate everything, yeah. And we, I think, we covered maybe like one percent, yeah, of what? what's a, what's out. How long were you there for? Like a week. Yeah, dude. Mate, like, imagine <laughs> going for two weeks. We, we were driving up things and down things to get to something that we pinned, and we're like, yeah. oh, we should skate this, we should skate that. We just did not have time, yeah, to skate anything. And it was so quiet. We didn't yeah. see. We barely saw any cars. The so roads are perfect. Is it? Was there? Did you meet up with any local crew there? Yeah. Or? So this local crew, this yeah. local crew, but you know they didn't really have um like time off to come mm. and like roll around with us. But they definitely showed us some spots. But yeah. Again, like I said, all their spots were like wet. Yeah. yeah. So True. we went around to the spots they knew, and they the spots that they knew were significantly better than what we found. Yeah. Just because you know, like better pavement, quieter cut, quieter traffic flow. Um. So d did you get a lot of time to do anything off the board? Yeah, we went surfing. Yeah. We Dude. went ca or camping out there yeah. in the wilderness. Yeah. Just like driving around, like we partied a lot. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, partying in Taipei. It kind of sounds like <laughs> it has great. everything you need. Like, yeah, dude, skate seriously. Trip. And the food is spectacular. I, I was, when you said, yeah, when you first mentioned it to me, I'm thinking, dude, the food. The food, food is, is amazing, so bro. Yeah. And yeah, like all things you need to take in account. It's really blended, man. It hits, it ticks every box. Every box. Except for like the extreme language barrier. Yeah. yeah. That is the only thing that is kind of the problem. Yeah. But you hit up the locals, right? And yeah. They send you in the right destinations. You honestly don't even need, and that's kind of part of the fun. Yeah. If you're just rolling out there with absolutely no local language. Yeah. Like me and Rob, I went with Rob Burns and a lot of them um, of the SPDW guys. Yeah. They speak um, Mandarin. Yeah, right. Which is not the same language they speak in Hong Kong. Yeah. But so like 
one guy, Thomas, could speak a little bit. Yeah. The rest of the guys are a little bit rocky. And then there's me and Rob are just like, just pointing at stuff. So, if they, <laughs> so what language do they speak where they're from? Cantonese. So oh. if some of them know Mandarin, are they translating it back to Cantonese and the Cantonese was translating it to English? Because that would almost be like that, that's kind Chinese of it's whispers. Yeah, it is. Is it, that what it's called? Chinese yeah. whispers. Yeah, when it, when it kind of when it kind of gets lost yeah, along the yeah, way, yeah. And and it does. Yeah, right. And that's fine. Yeah, but like it, you, you can't expect everywhere to be perfect for you. And exactly, that's, that's part exactly of the fun man. Of it. And we still had such a good time yeah. there, man. And it's, yeah, highly recommend to anybody who's looking for a skate destination. Yeah. Hit up the guys in Taipei yeah. and, you know, have yourself a ripper of a time. So if you had two weeks, obviously I know you'd take me. You'd, you'd pick me first. You'd Absolutely. say, Jack, I really want you to come with me, bro. Mate, <laughs> I'm Please, trying to convince bro. you yeah, dude, to steer I, away from this Hawaii thing and just like look. I'll still go to Hawaii every year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. I work hard for my guap. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> when the world opens back up, after the talking about Taiwan, bro, I'm, let's do it. Let's right, do it. Bro, but do it, hold on, ready? Last little part of that. You can't. Obviously, you take me. Obviously, you take Dom. Maybe, hopefully. Who else? You got four people in a hire car. Who you taking? This is this is like the hardest part. This is a of hard the question. question. I feel like for my answer before, I still missed out on so yeah, many 100%. of the Sydney boys. Yeah, obviously, I want to take all the boys. But if I had to pick four or people who would anybody. appreciate it most, yeah, Ooh. or people who I really enjoyed traveling with. I know Morgan Owens would love yeah. Taiwan. Yeah. yeah, Morgan Owens would love Taiwan. He'd, yeah, he'd froth that. So I'd take Morgan. I'd take Santiago Espeche. Yeah, <laughs> because he just makes everything that I do one hundred times more funny. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> me, two. Santiago. Yeah. Um. Morgan. Um. I'll take everyone from Southeast Queensland. That can be one person. <laughs> Um, one more. Who's it gonna be? Oh man, I don't know. Eh? It's hard, man. It's really hard. Cause if I, if I, like, I'd take. Oh, my I know. Go, Oscar. Oh, Whoa. Oscar, Oscar Archie, man. Archie Ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he'd he'd appreciate that. This might be said too. a lot, but that dude, he's one of the best. He's my favorite skater, dude, hands he, down. Man, your favorite skater's favorite. Skater. No doubt. I don't think I'm anyone's favorite skater, but sure. Lies. Dude, anyway. Mine, he, lies. Yeah. Yeah. He, he'd shred that. He, he likes that hard in the paint. So yeah. that's good chat. Yeah. 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 Might wrap it up, but <laughs> that, um, yeah, I want to go skate. Yeah. Uh, Should we go skate? But Let's go skate. I must say before we go, thanks to everyone who listens to the Get That podcast. Thanks to everyone who wears a shirt. Um, and a hat. And a hat, uh, whatever. Hoodie, Just anybody who hoodie. supports get that in, in any which way, get, we get appreciate socks. it. Um, get that so Get that air freshness. Dude. Or get that anything. What would get, get, get that. that air freshness smell like? Coconut. I've yeah. thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut and pineapple. Just uh, straight up. Sweet, sweet. My car's going to smell hella good. But I must say, um, yeah, shout out to everyone who listens to the podcast. Trying, we're just, I'm just putting stories or conversations out there yeah, for man. Daniel Skaters and to listen to. Thank you to. for having us back week thank after you. week. Yep. Week after week. You know, Thanks. Always a pleasure. I love driving Harry up every week. On a Saturday. Well, I, if I could get my boys to come for five minutes away, it would be all right. But I, my second <laughs> choice <laughs> is you boys. My hey, second hey, choice is just the boys and the world, you know, 2019 world champ. I have to throw that in. But <laughs> yeah, second choice. But if you like this podcast, whatever I put it on, or if you're just sitting with your friend, tell them about it and tell us tell your mom where about us. tell us where you would go, where you want to go, and who would you go with. You can't say our names because we know that we'd be on the list. But where where do you want to go and who with and what coloured get that shirt would you be wearing? Let us know. This one. www dot get that skate dot com. See ya. See ya. <laughs> yep.